Hey everyone, it's Joe and Isaias from The Automator, and today we're looking at some of the new updates to the version 1.1.34.02 from Lexicos. And Isaias, <laughs> it was really interesting because I happened to subscribe um, again also, and I looked and I'm like, oh, this doesn't seem like anything major. Um, Isaias, why don't you explain it to us why this is important? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so basically, uh, when I saw the, the release, I was like, oh, great. And, and, and I mentioned it to you and you were like, yeah, why? <laughs> and then that's the point. So basically, there are two bugs in here that are important. They, they might not seem like, but they are. The, there was a problem with whenever you're passing a, let me show the screen real quick so you know what I'm talking about, by the way. So uh, this is the, the new release and I'm talking about this well, one in particular. Just because yeah. we just did a video on it, explain the semantic versioning implications. Right. In this case, yeah. So basically, let's go ahead and up, up, uh, you, you just not pay attention to V1 in here because this is something that it looks like it is just static. It's always like that. And the semantic versioning is really happening here at the back. And these three numbers, uh, the last one here would be the patching number. So whenever he fixes something, he updates this number and notice that he made three fixes. So basically, uh, this one commit fixes three things, okay? So he just updates the number just once. But notice that here, there is no feature added or anything like that, it's just fixes. That's the reason why this number got um, uh, updated and not this one, for example. So if he had added some features or something like that, uh, then this right. number would have been actually updated. Right. But in this case, we're just, focusing on some bugs and this is the thing those bugs were introduced by version 34 so those bugs are related to that version that's you will not see a number here that is relating to a previous version or anything like that so now the command line arguments this is the thing uh, whenever you uh, you pass a script to auto hotkey itself to run it like for example you drag and drop the script on top of auto hotkey it goes ahead and takes that script as a parameter and reads it and goes ahead and launches it. Now, there was some bugs that were happening because 34 created an issue. So I went ahead and, and, and the issue that I was having was very specific. I was on uh, VS Code and when I'm using this version, Beta 9, I use a specific hotkey and when I hit that hotkey, VS Code, well, the, the language that I have, sends my file to auto hotkey executable, this AHK2 executable, as a parameter. And when it sends us like that, the auto hotkey executable just compiles it without showing any boxes. The compiled version would show up automatically. It would just not ask me for anything. I would just right. press Control Shift 9 and I would have an executable right next to my main file. That's it. And the only problem is that I'm, I have to kind of like tell what the compiler is. It seems to be that it's not finding it, whatever. But notice here in the output, it says it's grabbing the compiler, that's the executable, and it is passing a parameter, the in. And the in is the file that I have at the moment. And the out is going to be the executable. You see that? It is being passed as parameters. For some reason, when I tried that on the second, so I updated the version for the other hotkey compiler, so I had it there. And when I was using the <laughs> the hotkey, I was not getting the compiled uh, file. I was getting the window, the auto hotkey to XA window. That's what was happening. And I was like, I look at the code. I don't see any obvious changes on auto hotkey to exe. So I'm not sure why this is happening. After And I, I said, like, look, these two versions give me the error, but this one fixed. This one is not having the issue. So something happened between those two. And then after they were looking at it, it says like, hey, this appears to be a bug in Auto Hotkey itself. And they reported it. You see what I mean? Yeah. So now this particular issue is not something that would affect anybody. And But the problem is you might not notice that it's affecting you because you probably not many people use scripts to pass arguments to a script or something like that, right? But for some things, and for example, in this particular case, just... And an unrelated program, I was using a functionality that now is broken. And 
it was just because of this particular issue. So auto hotkey was not taking the command line arguments correctly. And that was the problem. That has been fixed. You might be affected by that if some of your scripts are not working how they did before, especially if you're passing them in, uh, in, in a command line or drag and dropping them or something like that. This might fix it for you. Cool. Awesome. Very well. So, um, in any case, the other, uh, two bugs are not like really big. Um, these three keys just behaving like normal keys. Remember that when you press shift on the keyboard, it is not performing any actions. And if you want to do kind of like combination control A or shift V, for, for example, the shift is only firing when you release it, not when you press it. Mm. So if your hotkeys are not working, it might be because when you press shift, it is being fired and it is, it shouldn't do that. It uh -huh. should actually fire on release. So if you want to do control A as a hotkey, it might not let you because as soon as you press control, it would fire the hotkey and it shouldn't be like that. That's what is going on. So, so basically that actually is because, because I do use, I thought it was on its own, but if it I, is, I, I think, I think I'm not really sure if it is affecting, um, a combination because the example here is just them by themselves. Okay. So if I have a hotkey, so if I had all, no, I, I just, as a did, hot oh, key, you know what? I, I have, I have one that relies on control, control M at launches our hub and, uh, what happened was I held it down because I was thinking I'll hold uh -huh. it down uh -huh. and it shouldn't trigger it until I release. Right? Exactly. Right. That's, that's well, the idea. When I held it down, it actually launched it multiple times. Mm, okay. But hold on. Let me, let me double check on something because there's a difference between having old a, for example. Um, I'm not sure if I could do it that way, but um, let me double check on something. Well, what exactly. You I know. It. So, so basically I need to, Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. So, so basically what I want to know is this. First of all, if I put the word old here, and this is, uh, I haven't updated to the new version yet. Mm -hmm. Here, when I run it, if I press the old, uh, the old key down, the message box shows up. It shouldn't do that. It, it, and, and now look at that. If I keep it pressed, it keeps showing up. So okay. maybe it's related to what you just said. Right. So as, as long as the key is down, it is being pressed. Now, the question would be now whether that is also happening when I have it in a combination like Alt A. So what I'm going to do, I have Alt A, I press Alt. Let me see. Well, when I have both keys pressed, I do get them like all the time, but I would expect that though. I'm not really sure if that would be. So I think maybe it is just affecting when you have only them by themselves, which the documentation states that if you have them like this and you press alt down, nothing should happen. When you release the thing, then it should just go ahead and show the message box. So that that's basically what I think is fixing. I'm not really sure if it affects other keys, but that's what is going on. And in some cases it might be affecting you and you are not nice, but it is a bug and has been fixed in the latest release, just to, you know, point that out. So we just did a quick, we went and downloaded the, the latest version and updated, and it was interesting. Go ahead and show here as Ace now with. Yeah, so right now I go ahead and run the script. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna press the old key on my keyboard and I have it pressed now and nothing happens. So, and the other version, what was happening is that whenever I press the old key, it was showing the message box over and over again, right? And I, I was clicking okay and it was coming up again. In this case, I have it pressed, nothing happens. When I release it, then I get the message box, which is the expected behavior when you have the key by itself. Um, now, quick thing, and, and you just told me to test it, do you have your, I know you have a script that does an on-screen display of the keys that are being hit. Do you have that handy? Uh, yeah, but it is not really, I think okay. well, we'll you know, I'm missing something about it. Yeah, but yep. I should do that at some point. Um, but if you have a combination like this, uh, what happens is if you press Alt by itself, nothing happens. When As soon as you press the A, then you get the, the message box. 
which is the expected behavior. And I was having that in the other version as well. So basically, if you have key combos, I, I don't think you're affected that much. But for people who were using alt as a hotkey by itself or control or shift, because all of those were being, uh, ha were having the issue. If you have them by themselves performing an action, I don't know why would you do that, but it can happen. Um, right. <laughs> no, may, may, I maybe hate, a total. I hate case letters, so I'm never going to use them. So I just want, you know, when I press shift, it, you know, it, uh, for example, <laughs> so, so basically, uh, uh, in any case, uh, in this case, what would happen is that now the correct behavior is being uh, done by the script. So yeah, if you are affected by that, then just go ahead and update to the latest version and you should be good to go. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome.